Hey everybody, we're here with Adam Winkleman with Relevant. We're uh, going to talk about a few different products that he has, and uh, one of them is his line of glasses. And uh, what you know, what sets these apart from some of the other glasses out on the market today? So, um, well, a couple different things. We have some of your sort of standard stuff, Andy. So, like a, a gray and a brown base lens that you would look out of with your reds and your greens. Um, and what really separates those apart is the lens material themselves. So what you have here is, is a material called Trivex, and it's um, a special material that was actually invented for helicopter windshields. Oh. So it, helicopter windshields used to be always polycarbonate, but polycarbonate's a quite, it's quite dirty. It's not a very clean, optically, not a very clean material. And uh, so Trivex was invented in 2002 or so, and it has the optical clarity of your eye. So it's the same exact clarity that you would see with your human eye, but it's impact resistant and it's also uh, lighter than polycarbonate. So the lenses themselves are uh, pretty pretty special. And so you no longer have to you know, have glass to have high quality where it's really heavy. You can get something really light and have really great quality as well. And I know that you have some that are more designed for hunting, some that yep. are more designed for fishing. Yep. These are kind of a in the between everyday yeah. use type? <clears throat> yeah, so these ones here that I have and uh, the green ones are gonna kind of be your everyday use, but really specially designed for, for fishing. So you would, oh, okay. want to, you would want to decide, okay, so red is gonna enhance greens. So if you're somebody who's sight fishing or you're looking for weed lines and doing that sort of a thing, red is gonna be the uh, mirror coat that you would want okay. to have. If you're um, sight fishing for bass, or let's say walleyes and shallows or something like that, you got that brown color, the green is gonna enhance the browns that are in the environment. And so there's a very functional purpose between the different colors as well but they also function extremely well just for everyday use you know, sure. as well so we have those as options but then we have this kind of super special product that we call chameleon and actually I want to thank uh, the ice fishing community uh, ice uh, fishing Minnesota community fishing Minnesota and hunting Minnesota because you helped us name this thing actually so we were trying to figure out a name for this product and you guys just jumped in and, and it was awesome and so chameleon was the name that got that got chosen and why it's chameleon is that you can see in its natural state it's an olive green so today is a good example you're out on the water and uh, it's low, it's low light. So if you had a gray polarized lens, the environment just gets darker yeah. and it becomes almost impossible to use the sunglasses. Well, if you're not using the sunglasses, then you don't get the polarized benefit, sure. right? So with these, when you put these on, the environment gets brighter around you because it's this olive green, the contrast is incredible. However, when the sun comes up, they're going to activate and they're gonna actually move from an olive green to an amber, copper, and into a brown, full chocolate brown uh, color. And they're polarized, and so now I'm on the boat, and it's 11 o'clock, the sun is up, and I've got a full, um, a full uh, polarized brown lens. So it's a perfect glasses for all sun day. up to sundown. Sun up to sundown. They're really incredible, again, behind the windshield. If you have like a day rain, we get those day rains where it's too dark to really wear sunglasses, but you get a lot of glare in the environment because of the water. Uh, it gets rid of it because it's polarized as well. Sure. So that's kind of our fishing solution, and they're very, uh, very specific to those functions. And then the chameleon is really quite uh, special because no one's been able to figure out how to get the low light uh, and and uh, the uh, the brown lenses with a full reflective mirror. And I know you've been in the eyeglass industry and lenses industry yeah. for a long time. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, so you got behind your belt. So I've <laughs> over 20 years yeah. in the optical industry. Um, done some pretty interesting things. I've had a lab that made eyeglasses, sold that in 2011, worked for a, a company, and then about a year ago branched off and started Relevant. And the reason I did is because I wanted to take what I know optics, what I know about you know the optical side of things, and dovetail it into what I really enjoy, which is fishing and, and hunting. Sure. And I noticed there's some gaps, like what Costa does and what Oakley does, and these guys, they do a good job, but there are some gaps and there's some opportunities where we can create a product that's actually more versatile for the fisherman, more versatile for the hunter well, sure. as well. And something like the chameleon lens, it eliminates multiple sets of glasses. That's right. Yeah, you can eliminate multiple sets of glasses and be able to be on the water, more comfortable fishing and doing the thing that you want to do uh, uh, at, a bit, at an elite level, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and now another thing that I was doing this earlier, which totally blew my mind. 
Um, you know, I've tried the glasses and they blew my mind right away. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But like this took it to a whole new level. So we'll explain kind of what, sure. what we're doing here. Yeah, so, so what we're trying to do, back up just for a second, one of the things that we are really priding ourselves in is making sure that the science is behind everyone. So there's a very scientific purpose for why we chose this red, why we chose that green. And when uh, we're doing our studies, we learned that uh, duck and turkey and whitetail and geese uh, can see into the UV spectrum. So I was kind of like, well, that's interesting because I know that optical surfaces reflect ultraviolet light. And what I learned is that when it reflects, it manifests itself clear or white. So if you look at this, you can see where I'm reflecting ultraviolet is white. So if I'm in a duck blind or I'm in a turkey blind or I'm deer hunting, I'm giving away my position, even though I'm completely concealed behind me, I'm giving up my position by my, my skin or by my, my eyes. So people kind of know this intrinsically, they won't wear their glasses when they're duck hunting, right? Sure. So, well that's stupid because now we can't use our eyes, which is our number one asset. Yeah. Well, it's probably like, like here, we have a light on the camera, I'm sure there's tons of reflection on my glasses. Yeah. Um, but so if I'm sitting in a deer stand, you know, or a duck blind, I'm getting the same yeah. reflection and the same glare off my glasses, you know, from the sun and stuff, which some glasses eliminate it. Yeah, so what we've done is we invented a product. We use our chameleon product specifically. Um, we do do it on the other stuff, but the chameleon is really a special one. And what we've done is we've got two products that we invented. One's a Steth Shield, which is actually a, an SPF 30. Uh, lotion that has a uh, product uh, in it that allows the absorption of ultraviolet because when I'm reflecting it it's white but where I'm black it's I'm absorbing it so I want to do Andy's I want you to do this take uh, let's take this here take a, a little bit of this well let's we'll do it before okay okay so here so here real quick look at all the glare that's coming off of your glasses see all that glare that's reflecting back into the mark into the field yeah on my ugly mug here we got <laughs> So I'll take these off and I'll take my hand yeah. more of it. <laughs> so this is an SPF 30, but it has uh, absorption properties in it that allow us to be able to give you concealment in the duck blind or in the turkey blind in a way that you've never been able to do before uh, from, from protecting your face and concealing your face. And, we took and created a coating, patented coating that will absorb the ultraviolet light as well. And so you saw how Andy's lenses were reflecting before. Now you're completely concerned. You're going to see two lights coming off of here and off of your camera there. But and as you can see, you don't. It's all see it on completely my face. concealed. I missed a couple spots. <laughs> you missed up a here. spot in your head, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, even with you. Yeah. Don't <laughs> smile. <laughs> found out don't smile not a problem now if I, get, I wonder if I can put on my gray beard no can't help you there can't help old age uh, the which ones but yeah so I mean, yeah my mug is clean yeah <laughs> it's uh it's pretty interesting so we're, we're really proud of what we're doing here we're really trying to we're working with uh, LSU uh, we're working with the University of Georgia to make sure that all of our claims are substantiated so I work with dr. Carl Miller a little bit dr. Uh, Collier uh, at LSU and just making sure that you know what we're claiming to do is actually important for what we're doing and 100% without a doubt birds have a cone cell in the UV spectrum so they see UV and they use it for actually survival purposes for mating purposes to identify urine trails that's a trip dude, when you get yeah. into it and they see uh, UV like we see red or we see green or we see blue and so now we're able to make sure that you can conceal your position in the field not only with eyewear but also with um, you know with the uh, cell, stealth screen as well and so uh, yeah, so that's what we're really trying to do. shot at that. Like, so I'll like, look at you with, uh, without the concealment glasses. I mean, yeah, I don't have, I have just my regular eyeglasses on. There's my ugly mug. There's my neck where I didn't put any on. Let's see, and then I put the glasses on. I'm still ugly, <laughs> that's right. but you can't see it as good. <clears throat> and what's, what's amazing is now, not only are you concealing yourself in the blind, but you now are able to use your eyes as well. So one of the other things about bird hunting, whether it's turkey or duck or whatever, I mean, they can identify flicker movement is what they call it in the, in the universities. They call it flicker movement. And it is now 
gone. Like you can use your eyes and be able to call birds. You feel I had a hen all the time come up in front of me. In the past, I've never been able to like watch that hen because I was she was going to see my eyes moving. Yeah. Well, now I can watch what she's doing to identify is there a tom coming around the corner? Is there something coming up over here? I was able to watch what the animal's doing and be able to respond appropriately. And it changed the way I was able to hunt for, for, for those birds. So we're constantly trying to innovate. We're constantly trying to do things uh, in that direction. We actually have a, a bait box that we're uh, prototyping right now where we're going to be able to get rid of the lid that you have to figure out what to do, monkey around with. And so uh, we're just going to keep on innovating, keep on doing different things. Some of it's going to be eyewear, but it's always going to be about two things. Well, really three things. Number one is the science behind what we're trying to do. We want to make sure we substantiate these claims. Number two is it's got to be about the community. Are we solving a problem that matters to the Mike Johnsons of the world, right? And all those sorts of things. And then we also have to make sure that we tap into the emotion, right? Well, if we I can do those things, then we'll be all right. Yeah, and I know you're super passionate about both hunting and fishing, yeah. so. That's what I do, man. I love doing the it. sky's the limit. Yeah, so I, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you, Andy. Absolutely. Good luck with everything. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yep. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah.